What are the best Universal Orlando rides for 2023? Hey, what's going on everybody? Rick and Nikki here. Hello. Not only are we going to talk about all the rides and attractions here at Universal Studios Florida, but we're going to tell you which ones are the best. The must-dos. Disclaimer, today's video is only about Universal Studios Florida. Islands of Adventure will get its own video. We're not going to mess around. You clicked on this video because you want to know the best Universal Orlando rides. So we're going to show you Rick's top six rides at Universal Studios Florida. Let's start with my favorite ride here. So if it's a favorite, it has to be one of the best, right? Revenge of the Mummy. This is an indoor roller coaster. Packs a lot of fun in a small space. The thing I like about this one, you lose your stomach. You get some airtime moments, I would say, three or four times, and I love it when you get that feeling of losing your stomach. That's what makes this ride so much fun. And we love it so much, we have our own merchandise to celebrate it. There's a link to this in the description box. If you love the mummy as much as we do, get the t-shirts, get the hoodies. One thing I should mention right away, pretty much every ride at Universal will have some type of height requirement. So the best thing to do, right out front, there's a height board where you can check your kid's height for every ride. Yeah, so there's no disappointment. So you know exactly what ride they can get on without having any problems. Right, you don't want them like to be looking forward to the mummy ride and then they get right to the ride and then they discover they're too short. Find that out right away. That way you set expectations before you get into the park. Yep. So ride number two <laughs> on today's list of best rides at Universal Studios Florida, we're gonna put Transformers. Yes. Now by the way, this list is in no particular order. We're just walking around the park, running into the best rides. Oh yes. And Transformers, one of them. Now this ride is a super fun ride. Very, very similar to the amazing Spider-Man ride that they have over at Islands of Adventure. You're in a moving vehicle. There's screens, it's 3D, a lot of action, a lot of sounds, a lot of visual and physical stimulation with this ride. That's what makes it so fun. You're not just sitting still looking at a screen. You're moving, you're losing your stomach, you're getting different sensations, you're spinning, and you're enjoying the 3D action on the screens. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter has two rides at Universal Studios Florida. One of them made the list of best rides. To find that ride, we need to go inside of Diagon Alley. For you muggles visiting for the first time, how do you get into Diagon Alley? Walk through those brick walls. And try not to cry when you see it for the first time. Harry Potter and the Escape from Gringotts, one of the best rides at Universal Orlando, kind of a hybrid ride. Part roller coaster, part 3D attraction with screens. There's an amazing drop at the beginning, amazing 3D action throughout, some spinning, even a launch. Super fun and super unique. I think my favorite part of this ride is riding with newbies. People who've never ridden it before, and they're laughing and screaming, and I mean, it's just, it's so joyful. It's such a great ride to ride with people who've never ridden it before. So it's definitely got great rideability. The next best ride at Universal Orlando probably would not have made the list five years ago but it's on it today yes it is it might be alien attack is one of the best rides why Rick if you know how to score well <laughs> yes exactly if you like that competition you know between family members too you know so five years ago I wasn't so good at it so it wasn't so fun <laughs> Uh, but I studied up. I even made my own videos on how to score well. I will leave links to those because, you, like I said, you got to score well to have a good time. And you joined a Facebook group, right? The MIB 900 Club. Yes, I'll leave a link to that too. Yes, they're very helpful. Met a bunch of great friends through that. Yep. But, I mean, all of that has led to it being on the top six list. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, it's just going to be more fun. Oh, for sure. I've yet to have a perfect score. I've come close, but not perfect yet. And that's the thing that makes it like a, a lot of fun to re-ride yes. is trying to get a new PR, a new best score. Exactly. I haven't broken 600 yet, so I've, <laughs> I've gotten into the fives with help. Yeah. So, um, no, it, I love the challenge. I do. It's, I get screwed on me too. And you've yet to beat me. No, Unless... I have. <laughs> I did. I beat him one time. I did. I had a bad blaster that time. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> Honestly, I would say yeah, excuses, but uh, sometimes it happens. Yeah, sometimes it happens. But yeah. anyway, one of the best rides here, it might be Alien Attack, 
study up on it though. That was <laughs> then it'd be fun. It'd be more fun. <laughs> Scoring low is not fun. Scoring high is fun. Yeah. So good luck with that. And it has the best AC in the park. So that's four of the top six rides here at Universal Orlando. The next two were a struggle to put on the list, but they barely made it. Ooh, you have me intrigued. The Simpsons ride. A fan favorite, not a personal favorite, but a fan favorite. It is a 2D ride. It's not even 3D, but it's a wild experience that may cause some people to have motion sickness. That's why it was tough to put on the list, but it is a super fun ride, especially if you love The Simpsons. There's motion, there's visuals, and even scents. Yeah, there are smells in here. Yes. All of them can contribute to motion sickness <laughs> or some true. type of nausea. <laughs> but we do know a lot of people who really love the Simpsons ride. That's why it made the list of best rides at Universal Studios Florida, but also it made another list, another top six. Uh -huh. Top six rides to make you sick. Exactly. Now that's a video you really need to see, so I'll leave a link to it in the description box. It's best to come prepared. Another best ride at Universal Orlando, believe it or not, Rip Ride Rocket. Some will believe it, some will not believe that it made the list. Then why is it on your list? Why did I put it on the list? Yeah. I'm glad you asked that question. First off, the climb up, very thrilling. The climb up alone will scare people away. They will avoid this ride just because of that climb up the hill. 90 degrees. And then it is very thrilling after the drop. That is a very fun drop. And then the twist. The twist on the top of this loop scares me every time. Well, for me, it's the customizability. Like, you could, there's so many songs. So you get to pick your own songs. There's right. a secret playlist of songs. So, like, every time you write it, it could be a different experience. Okay, would you say I did a good job by putting it on the list as a top six? Sure. Okay. I, I, I like roller coasters, so I would say yes. Well, you're not happy with the entire list, are you? No, I'm not. We'll discuss that in a minute. But as far as this is concerned, some people may not be thrilled I put it on the list as a best ride because uh, it's kind of herky-jerky right now, kind of shaky. Yeah, it could definitely use a, a refresh in terms of mm -hmm. uh, getting it smooth again. Right, that's one reason it barely made the list. Right. The other reason is there's a rumor it could go down for a long extended amount of time in 2023 mm -hmm. for that that refurb we're talking about so it's a little smoother okay so those are the best rides now let's walk around the park showing you the other rides and attraction and giving you a little insight on those as well what do you say we start with talking about the three major shows they have here sounds good first up the born stuntacular located on hollywood boulevard a very high-tech modern stunt show it's a thrilling adventure from start to finish and you do not have to be familiar with the Bourne franchise the movie franchise to enjoy the attraction absolutely tells the story from start to finish from the beginning of the the queue all the way through the attraction another show here on Hollywood Boulevard Universal Orlando's horror makeup show it's more of a comedy show that shouldn't be missed Hollywood Boulevard is also the home to a lot of character meet and greets, such as the beautiful, wonderful Marilyn Monroe. The other main show at Universal Orlando is Animal Actors on Location. All types of cute animals performing for you, making you smile. While I do love animals, this is not one of my favorite shows. Well, it's not what we go to quite often, just the timing, I think, of the shows doesn't work out for us. But yeah. I love the puppies in the show. Are you kidding me? The dogs are awesome. Well, who doesn't love puppies? I know. Okay, let's get back to talking about the rides. Even though these did not make Rick's top six of best rides, if you're visiting, I say you should try everything for yourself and make up your own mind. I'm just trying to help you prioritize which rides you should do first, which ones you don't want to miss. And the other thing I really want to mention is that Universal Studios Florida is not my favorite park for rides. I really enjoy like walking around and the atmosphere, but for rides, I think Islands of Adventure is better. So make sure you watch that video because we're going to have so many rides to talk about with that one. Kind of true. E.T. Adventure, a classic and opening day attraction here at Studios. A very wholesome family-friendly ride that Steven Spielberg wants us to keep forever, and so do I. 
I am shocked it didn't make the list. I mean, really, you chose Simpsons over this? I mean, I get it, you know, the Simpsons are, are really popular, but I mean, this is awesome. I love this ride. Well, the, the Simpsons barely made it. This one barely missed it. On a different day, in a different mood, I might have put this one ahead of the Simpsons. But I would like to say, it has made other Rick's top sixes. It sure has. I think it made one for like top six smells, didn't yes, it? Yes, it did, exactly. And probably like the best kid rides too. Probably, but everyone loves the smell of the ETQ. That's true. They even make candles for it. And honestly, here's another thing that I wish it would have made your top six, yeah. is that now we have the challenge of finding PB the ET e. Mallard. Mallard yeah. You know, like when you're riding through the riding, you have to look for that Mallard duck. Yeah. Like that adds a new element. It does, doesn't it? Yeah. Now, if you're interested in uh, an ET scented candle, I have a link to it in the description box. Use the discount code provided. Save a little money on it, too. And that's all we can talk about for the Kids Zone for 2023 because in 2023, the Kids Zone is getting a total retheming, except for animal actors, the SpongeBob store, and ET, that is. The Twirl and Hurl, located in the Springfield section of the park. Another little kid ride or family ride. Something for the smaller, younger kids to do. Hogwarts Express at King's Cross Station is considered to be an official ride. There's a wait time and everything. However, you have to have a park-to-park -park ticket to take it. Yep, you have to have a park-to-park -park ticket to studios and to Islands of Adventure in order to take the Hogwarts Express. Yeah, and I think my favorite part is that it's the different storyline which direction you're going, whether you're going from studios to Islands of Adventure or back. Different scenes. That's true. Next up in the San Francisco area of the park, we have Fast and Furious Supercharged. Um, it's a ride here. Um, I would say this, <laughs> unless you're a big Fast and Furious fan, do not prioritize this one to the top of your list. Right, if you've never done it before, go ahead and give it a shot. Who knows, you might like it. Uh, and you'll be entertained for 30 seconds. <laughs> I, I always say, you know, do everything, but do not have this high on the priority list. Uh, like I said, unless you're a big fan of the series. Right. Even then, you might be disappointed, or you may love it. Race Through New York starring Jimmy Fallon, an attraction here in New York City. This is another like family style attraction. You're kind of sitting in a theater. Um, you do have to get strapped down because the theater seats do move a little bit. Right, to me it feels more like a show with movement than a ride. But it does have a height requirement of 40 inches. So, it does. Yeah. So a cute little family style ride or attraction I should say. Mm -hmm. Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem, one of the most popular attractions in the whole park. Usually has the longest or second longest wait time, depending on the day, but so very popular. Now I suppose there are some families who feel like this should have been on the top six list of best rides. Sure, I mean it's a cute family ride. It makes me a little nauseous, but I mean it's a cute ride. Yeah, now the thing is a lot of people don't realize it used to be a 3D attraction. It is no yeah. longer 3D, it's just 2D. Right, you said you have to wear goggles and everything. Yeah, but not anymore. No, no. And for that reason, I think it loses a little something. If it was still 3D, I think it might would have made the list of top six rides at Universal Orlando. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Even though it's not a 3D, does it still make you a little nauseous? Yes, I kind of, um, they have stationary seats options available, so yes. I think that, you know, if I was to choose that, I think I would probably enjoy it a little bit better. Okay, but like I said, a very popular attraction here. And currently, well, I don't know, it, it depends on when you're watching this. Is it the only Minions attraction? Because a new one's coming in 2023. Let's talk about that one. So if you're coming in the beginning, the first half of 2023, you might miss this one because it's opening in the summer of 2023. Villain Con, Minion Blast. Minion Blast, that's what we're calling it. It's not gonna go by the full name, it's kinda long. <laughs> but um, it's gonna be a blaster or shooter type of game. Kind of like a MIB in that aspect where you get to shoot stuff and score points and cause mayhem. Right, so possible rewritability, you know, yeah. in terms of increasing your score like MIB? Yeah. Yeah. It, I usually like those shooter games if I know how to score well. It may take me some time to learn how to do that. <laughs> but once I learn how, I'll provide a cheat sheet for you guys. 
Now, what about the best rides at Islands of Adventure? Yes. That is the better park for rides, so you gotta know. And we've got you covered. Look above Nikki's head. Right there. There's the video. Yeah. All the best rides at Islands of Adventure. Don't miss the magic. Don't miss the fun. Click it.